please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Welcome back. You're watching Political Exchange. The Congress and the BGP continue to fight over the Rafale fighter jet deal. After Rahul Gandhi accused the Defence Minister of lying on the floor of the House, four BGP MPs have moved a privilege motion against him. The Congress uh, hit back today, doubling down on Rahul Gandhi's charges. Former Defence Minister A.K. Antony said the price of the Rafale jet can be revealed and, and accused the government of misleading the nation. It's not just about the price. Congress is also questioning why the terms of the agreement were changed here is the Rafael face-off between Anand Sharma, former union minister and law minister Ravi Shankar Prasad. The prime minister also has to answer as to how without cancelling or scrapping the previous agreement, he as prime minister of India announced the purchase of 36 at a price much higher, almost three times higher than what was earlier the agreed price. They have to explain. They cannot hide behind any blanket of secrecy. Galat bayani karke, jhoothe aarop laga karke, wo Rafal deal ke mamle ko uthane ki koshish kar rahe hain. Rahul Gandhi clearly misled the house on two counts. One, when he said there is no confidentiality agreement that was shown in the House. And his reference to the French president's conversation was formally denied on the same day by the French government. So, Bharat ki videsh niti ki samvedan shilta ke baare mein Rahul Gandhi ko kitna dik jaanne ke jarurat hai. Aur to aur, unhne Manmohan Singh ko Anand Sharma ko bhi phasa diya. All right, so is this just about the cost of acquiring one Rafale jet or is this something more as to why the deal was changed from 126 fighter jets to 36 fighter jets in 2015 by the Narendra Modi government? Let's go across to our guests. We've got R.K. Sharma, former vice chief of the Air Force, joining us. We've got Sushant Sareen, strategic affairs analyst. Sanjay Jha, spokesperson of the Congress Party and China NC of the BGP continues to be with us. Uh, but uh, I'll go across to former vice chief R.K. Sharma first. Mr. Sharma... We'd, we'd like to ask you about uh, the price. We have the Congress saying, why is the BGB government so scared of giving out the cost of acquisition of the Rafale jet? Is there a problem with declaring the price of each Rafale jet in Parliament and to the opposition? Uh, see, Parikshit, I am not uh, really, you know, uh, if you're keen on answering a question in, in, uh, relating to somebody being scared or not, that's not the issue. The point is that in broad terms, mm. the larger figure of the 36 mm. aircraft deal is well known. It is an open domain. Now, you cannot compare the price of these 36 uh, aircraft with the earlier L1 determined cost of the 126 Rafale because the elements of that deal, mm. if there would have been a deal, were quite different, and I must say largely different from the one that has been negotiated now. So it would be unfair to, you know, uh, sort of do a comparison, a one-to-one -one comparison. It's not simply a mathematic formula of taking 126 and divide, uh, taking the cost and dividing by 126 mm. or taking 58,000 crore and dividing by 36. Mm. It doesn't work that way. So the costs are different. Yeah. If you still okay. want to compare, I, then you can't compare. Costs are different. You can't compare the broad costs. You have to compare each elemental cost. If you understood that part. Right. And, and tell us, sir, was there any price concluded during the UPA time? No, only the L1 was determined. Thereafter, there were a lot of negotiations, which, had, which you can say, you know, the beginnings of our contract negotiation. You know, there are various steps which take place before the actual CNC uh, sits. Mm. So that process had started, but it would have never concluded. Mm. On one side, there was a back-to-back, -back, you know, negotiations between Rafael, uh, Dasso, sorry, Dasso and HEL. That, uh, you know, had certain uh, stumbling blocks. That yeah. was never concluded. And this, uh, we could not mm. go through the entire process mm. of this 126 MMRC deal. So, uh, the, the short answer is no. And, and finally, uh, one quick question, concluded. sir. Yes, yes, please go ahead. All right, one one quick question. Uh, do, you, do you feel that... Uh, that, that the government also needs to explain at some level. And this, this controversy that we see today 
is it's more it goes beyond price acquisition it's also about why in 2015 this deal was changed from 126 fighter jets to just 36 fighter jets you see it, uh, it's like this i can give you my personal opinion on this you know there is there was there is some expedience there is a you know national security sort of uh, an issue out that there was a drawdown of air force squadrons mm. so the government has mm. probably drawn, it's my personal opinion has mm. probably drawn a balance between what is expedient and what mm. is the budget available at that mm. time See, there were so mm. many calls to be taken in respect to the three, mm. three uh, uh, armed forces that uh, some mm. balance had to be drawn. That said, it doesn't take away from the fact that the 126 aircraft or the MMRK, the medium weight uh, uh, class of aircraft, is still required. And the other thing is that if this 36 has been concluded, it is also possible that at a later date we can exercise the option of acquiring more. So those issues okay. are still open. I think it was expedient at that time to just immediately right. go for a contract. Yeah, that was the main. Hello. All right, uh, former former vice chief uh, R K Sharma joining us. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, being with CNBC TV. Let's say, go across to Sushant Sarin. Can I say something Sushant? more? Can I say something more? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, please, sir. Please, sir. Yeah. Please yeah, go uh, ahead. Uh, Pariksit, it's very important for people to understand that uh, you know, with respect to secrecy mm. and confidentiality, confidentiality of you know various clauses. Uh, it's, uh, you know, what mm. will, uh, at a later date, if such a decision is made, that some disclosures must be made, it is extremely important that the Air Force must be taken into confidence. What is the kind of details that you want to put in open domain? To what extent, in which format, mm. and in its, which, which mm. medium? Now, it's very important mm. to understand this because it can operationally okay. uh, affect the Air Force. So, uh, the, that point should not be missed. Air Force must be consulted before any such decision is made. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sharma, for joining us with that perspective. Extremely important perspective coming from the former vice chief. But uh, I'm going to go across to Sushant now. Sushant, uh, do you feel that today the Congress is not just asking the BJP about this 7.5 billion sum that has come out of the Dassault Aviation Report, Dassault Annual Report, but today they want to know a larger question. They want to know as to why the deal changed in 2015. Well, I think uh, why the deal changed in 2015 was because the government had other priorities. The government decided in its own wisdom uh, that uh, maybe it is better to go in mm. for these 36 fighters and for the MMRCA because also mm. remember uh, that uh, the, uh, the indigenous fighter aircraft program is also going apace. There are also considerations or, mm. or, or calculations that perhaps it might be a better idea uh, and there are proposals which are coming in, for example, okay. of the F-16, uh, uh, you know, supply lines being shifted to India, the manufacturing base shifting mm. to India, and F-16, regardless of what people say, is still mm. a frontline fighter uh, around the world. Uh, there were other proposals also which were being made. So what exactly is the calculation of the government? I'm sure they can explain it much better. But I think, you know, uh, this whole okay. case is a classic case of you know, a very, very cavalier attitude uh, towards something as sensitive as defense purchases. Uh, if, if, and then th there are people mm -hmm. who have now written, including a colleague of ours who's written, uh, uh, you know, on the ORF website. Uh, okay. Says that look, if you right. wanted such clarifications, they could have come to you behind closed doors. Nobody asked for those clarifications behind closed doors. Okay. Everybody from the opposition parties wanted it uh, all the details all right. in public and no defense purchase deal, especially as sensitive as this, are revealed in public. Okay, Sushant, uh, I'm gonna go across to our political guests now, China NC and Sanjay Jha also joining us. China. What is the problem with holding a meeting with the opposition and explaining this deal to them as to why the deal that was negotiated when the UPA was in power was, uh, was not concluded by the BGP government and why did they go for these 36 Rafale jets at, at a cost of about 7.5 billion euros? This is what we're learning from the Dassault annual report. Well, I think Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad said it in the list that he marked out where six instance, instances of the UPA government where they refused to share the details of defense issues and refused to even reply in parliament. Mm. Here, we're not trying to hide anything. Nirmala Sitaraman, mm. as the defense minister, has clearly said that the details cannot be disclosed as on February 5th, 2018. 
and yes we are a transparent government we do believe in absolute um, mm. uh, public n knowledge of certain areas of security mm. but when it comes to something where you have two countries in an agreement in an agreement of secrecy right. you cannot coerce or force the government mm. classified information is not to mm. be disclosed and when mr uh, ravi shankar prasad today said in 2007 there is an example of uh, when the upa started negotiating on price in 2011 the bid for the 126 mm. aircrafts mm. and then in 2016 mm. we have a scenario where mm. you have the NDA who bought the Rafael at a lower price vis-a-vis uh, -vis the aircraft. Mm. So I think that an offset obligation deal by Dassault is a commercial decision. Mm. And for those who are trying, if you want to question the cabinet committee <laughs> on security, we uh, must understand there is laugh. a parliament process <laughs> and as per article so, 10, so the intergovernmental really agreement between government us, of India uh, and the government of France right, is something which is China, known I'm to one get and all. A so now I don't want to get Jao. into this kind of uh, jaundice theories. It is <laughs> imperative for us to understand that secrecy yeah, Sanjay, is not to be compromised. Sanjay, and explain classified us. information can continue what to be the, the prerogative really want to know? of the defense minister and the prime minister. Because the price of acquiring these Rafale jets are already in public domain. There was a reply by Subhash Bhamre in March 2018 where he gave the bare cost. There is also That's the right. uh, annual report right. of uh, Dassault which points out to the cost. What does the Congress really want to know? Are you pointing out to what happened when uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, but... went to France in 2015? Uh, absolutely, Parikshit. And let me tell you two points here. This appears to be an absolute uh, brazen, uh, open and shut case of a sellout. Uh, there is something deeply murky here, and it's a taxpayer's money, and the Congress party will get to the bottom of it. I promise you that. Now, let me tell you how Ravi Shankar Prasad, if he is their man defending them, has come and made two monumental blunders in his press conference. First, he says it is confidential, which he's wrong, because, as you rightly mentioned, the Minister of State for Defense, Subhash Bamre, has gone and said the price of the plane. And the second point, he said it already in Parliament. So was that a violation of the law? Was that a violation of the secrecy agreement? And by the way, let me tell you, the, the jets purchased by other countries, by their individual prices, they are publicly in the domain. You can search it right now on Google. The second point, very, very fundamental to the debate, he says, well, you know, the French embassy reacted. Well, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, you know, the French have gained at our expense. Why will the French, if they are the sellers, and they're getting a massive 300% higher profit for plane, why will they deny? They are very happy with Mr. Modi's government. But what is the truth? The truth is the price is three times higher. Mm. And this is the question that we need to ask. Why did it go up so much? Now, let me give you an example, Parikshit. If I buy a car, let's assume it's a, it's a Maruti or it's a Mercedes. There's a price of the car, the basic price of the car. How can you add fancy tires, fancy wipers, and leather seats and make the price three times the, the, the okay. original cost of the car? All right. You Mr. can Sanjay have Jha a certain escalation for time. accessories. We'd like to but thank how can all our guests for joining us, including China and NC of the BJP. This is a brazen the corruption also is, Sanjay, here. that the Congress and the UPA did not conclude the Rafale deal. If the deal was good, the Congress could have also concluded it. This is what the BJP is pointing out. We'll have to leave it there, but this is a story that we'll continue tracking very, very closely right here on CNBC TV 18.